Lecture Series 21 of Bite-Sized Corporate Reporting focuses on IAS 21, the effects of changes in foreign exchange rates. This is a two-part lecture series. An entity may carry on foreign activities by either entering into transactions denominated in foreign currencies or may have foreign operations. The objective of IAS 21 is to prescribe how to include foreign currency transactions and foreign operations in the financial statements of an entity and how to translate financial statements into a presentation currency. Hence, IAS 21 sets out 1. The definition of functional and presentation currency, including factors to be considered in determining the functional currency of an entity. 2. How to account for transactions denominated in a foreign currency. And 3. How to translate the financial statements of a foreign operation. So, how does IAS 21 define functional currency? IAS 21 defines functional currency as the currency of the primary economic environment where the entity operates, that being the economic environment in which it primarily generates and expends cash. In determining an entity's functional currency, IAS 21 stipulates an entity should consider the following primary factors. 1. The currency that mainly influences the sales prices of the entity's goods and services. This is often the currency that sale prices of the entity's goods and services are denominated and settled. 2. The currency of the country whose competitive forces and regulations mainly determine the sales prices of goods and services. 3. The currency that mainly influences labour, material and other costs of providing the entity's goods and services. This is often the currency such costs are denominated and settled. In the event the primary factors are inconclusive, an entity should consider the following secondary factors. 1. The currency in which funds from financing activities are generated, that is the currency debt and equity instruments are issued. 2. The currency in which receipts from operating activities are usually retained. A foreign operation may decide to use the same functional currency as the reporting entity. For example, a foreign subsidiary uses the same functional currency as its parent. In so doing, the following factors should be considered. Whether 1. The activities of the foreign operation are carried out as an extension of the reporting entity rather than being carried out with significant degree of autonomy. 2. Transactions with the reporting entity are high or low as a proportion of the foreign operations activities. 3. Cash flows from the activities of the foreign operation directly affects the cash flows of the reporting entity and are readily available for remittance to the reporting entity. And 4. Cash flows from the foreign operations activities are sufficient to service debts without funds being made available by the reporting entity. The second part of lecture series 21 will look at presentation currency and how to include foreign currency transactions in an entity's financial statements.